Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Outlook 2021 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the different methods to add or remove message attachments in Outlook. So, Outlook lets you attach a variety of items to a mail message for easy distribution such as Word file, Excel file, PDF files, and even zip files. So you can either attach this file itself or attach the file from a shared link location such, such as OneDrive folder and SharePoint document library. In addition to the mentioned file type, you can even add Outlook created items such as contact, note task and even mail messages. So to attach the file from a new message, in the message tab, here we have what we call the include group you can see we have the include group here so here we have the option called attached file so if I click on the attached file you can see I can actually attach recent items so we have some recent items I can attach or I can decide to actually attach an item from a business even a business card or from Outlook or I can browse to a web location or I can even browse this space say to attach a file but I can also go to, if I want to attach a link, I can decide to just click. As you can see, I can attach this actually a link which takes me to my SharePoint. Or I can attach another link again from my OneDrive for business. Or I can decide to actually insert a specific link. So let me just click cancel here. But to get more options, to have more options of attachment, we can actually add to this message I'm trying to compose. Let's just go to the insert button here. Here, if I go to the insert tab, here you can see we have different options. So, for example, I can actually attach file. Here you can see we can actually attach a recent test document. And now the document has just been attached to my email. Or we can decide to actually attach a browse to my OneDrive or to a group files and even attach some other files. I can decide to browse this PC and actually choose a specific file to add. But I can decide to add an Outlook item as well. Here you can see it's giving me the option to actually add an email address. I can add a calendar or I can even decide to add some of the sent items here. So if I go to my inbox, I can decide to select a specific email. And then you can see we, you need to make sure that the insert as is not as test only, but as attachment. So click OK. And here you can see that that email has just been added. Here we have the option to actually add a poll or a business card or we can even add a signature if we have created a signature and we want to add a different signature than the standard signature we use to compose our mail and here you can see we can add table as well. I can decide to actually just go for example I can add pictures and you can see I cannot just add pictures from this device but I can actually add pictures online. So if I go, you can see online pictures, you see it's still powered by Bing. Bing. So if I decided, let me just search for cloud and hit enter. And you can see that I'm just having getting some random pictures from the, from the internet, which I can decide to select a specific picture. And then I can click insert. And if I click insert, look at what happens. You can see that the picture is actually very, very wide. So what I can just do, let me select and just delete that picture. Here you can see the link of that picture, but we can still just, if I select this, and I can just delete it as well. Let me just select this and delete. And if I go back again to my insert, and here you can see we have some other options. For example, I can insert a link, just like we saw before, a bookmark, bookmark and some other options of insert, of attachment we can actually attach to our message. So if, for example, I've actually at, um, add an attachment and I want to remove that attachment I added to this mail, I can just right click on here. You can see we have the option to actually just click on the drop down list. And here you can see we have the option remove attachment. So when I click remove the attachment, so now the attachment will be removed. I can click removed attachment and this will be removed. But so after you have attached your um, attachment or pictures you want to actually add to your mail, then you can just click send. So this is how you, these are the different methods you actually use to add and remove attachments from a new mail message. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin. 
Johnson. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos. Bye.